Welcome back, everybody. Well, we've had some really cold days. It's kind of been unseasonally chilly uh, this spring. So many of us are wondering what is going on with our vegetable gardens. Now, Derek, in full disclosure, I don't have a vegetable garden, but I would suspect that many people are wondering this. <laughs> Derek Thomas with Thomas Landscapes. Is with I, love, I love the way you just continually throw yourself under the bus when we do honest. these segments. But you have fun, so yeah, that's a good right. thing. I, have, I love to see you. So um, what do we you, do Allison. if our veggie gardens aren't looking the best? It's been a tough year. It's okay. been a really, really roller coaster ride of a year with the vegetables. And what happened was a lot of people bought their tomatoes and other hot season vegetables early. Right. And then we had that really, really cool spell. And well, there was a, there was a warm shot. And you told us and, about this. We talked about this. Yeah. And, and and people went ahead and bought them anyway. And right. I'm getting a lot of hits where people are saying, what do, I, what do I do with these tomatoes now? They look horrible. Right. Well, here's the thing. Their vegetables have specific growing seasons. Okay. So things like this cilantro, which has now started to bolt. Mm -hmm. And what it's going to do is the flowers are going to turn into coriander seeds. So what you can do with this cilantro in your garden, okay, because the leaves that are desirable for us for salsa and things like that, mm -hmm. done. What you can do with these is pop them out of the pot, put them into a larger pot. I'm not going to plant this up today, but okay. just to show the viewers, you can put it into a larger pot. What that's going to do is it's going to force these flowers mm -hmm. to set seed. Okay. When they set seed, you'll have fresh coriander for your salads and for different things. So it's the best. you're repurposing. You're repurposing. Buy cilantro seeds now, because mm -hmm. they won't be available in September, and plant them in your garden in September. Great tip. Okay. Lettuces. They're done. The minute it starts getting into the 80s, lettuces want to bolt. Mm -hmm. It changes. Bolting means it's going to it's gonna send up a flower. I was going to ask you. I was hoping that yeah. you would tell me that. Okay. What you want to do with this, if it's a leaf lettuce like this and you see it at the garden center, don't bother. Mm -hmm. Okay? What you do want to do, though, plants like this uh, head lettuce, even though it's going to be a miniature iceberg, it will still make the lettuce in your garden. Mm -hmm. And romaine. Go ahead and get it. A lot of times you'll get it at a discount this time of the season. Get it at that discount, plant it out, but be ready to harvest it in about a week or two. Okay, so now, watch it, watch it, yeah. Squash, the one thing that everybody does with squash, they will buy one squash plant because they think it gets so big and so out of control. If you don't have space in your garden for squash, don't plant it mm -hmm. because you have to plant squash in a grouping. Oh. They cross pollinate. Okay. And so the pollen from here will make the squash on this plant. If you only have one squash plant, you will never have squash. Right. Okay. Very lonely squash. You, you will have lonely squash. Yeah. Now, the one thing that I do want to do tomatoes. So everyone has sent me questions about a tomato. If your tomato plant looks like this, guys, here's what you do. Tomatoes are pretty good. You want to break this up. You want to actually take off these lower growing tips here. And I'm going to open this up. I'm going to push that down in there. We're going to get this all potted up nice and high because tomatoes are one of the plants that you can Go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Take off all of these leaves. The little dead ones? The, the dead ones, yeah. Remove the dead leaves. And what's going to happen is the tomato plant's going to flush back out and be good as new. Okay. The other, the other tip that I have for the, for the viewers now is that if you buy pepper plants right now, any of your hot peppers, okay, mm -hmm. you can let them go ahead and flower out. Some of the sweet peppers that have been in the nursery they're starting to oh, set peppers. Yeah. Take them off. Here's the reason why. Sweet peppers, you want the plant to actually flush out. So all of these little peppers that are about to set, any Take flowers that you see for the first month, remove them. Let the plant get nice and big, and you will have a bumper crop of sweet peppers later in the season. That's Derek Thomas. He's got everything you need to know, and I suspect an Ask the Garden Guy segment should be it's coming, coming up. up. Yeah, I think it's it coming, coming up. I'm up. collecting the tips. Good. Keep sending them in. Keep following me on Twitter, at Thomas Garden Guy, and thanks for all the great ideas. All right, Derek, thank you for being here as always. Holly, over to you.